Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to The Body. Now this game was made by the same developer of One Chance, and if you remember that game, it was a Flash game where you only had a single chance to save the entire world. Admittedly, from your own mistake, but if you want to see that game, you can check in the description below. But this one, I actually found, and uh, not a lot of people have played it, and it seemed to be, from his description, another emotional game. And I wanted to give it a try because when I opened it up, it seemed very bizarre in that it's presented in this real- Whoa. Oh, no. My character was- My character was just holding a body bag and it- Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why am I carrying a body? Oh no. Well that took a turn real quick. It's amazing how something so space bar to use. Oh no, is that a shovel? Oh god. Okay. Just leave that right there. Alright, press space bar to use. There we go. Gotta be in the right spot for it. Up, oh, gotta keep digging with the space bar. Gotta be good about it. Oh, hi! Who the hell are you? Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Why you gotta make me do this? My character's still in black and white, apparently. Oh, no. Oh, what happened? Do I want to know what happened? Hi? Is the game waiting for me to do something? Because I don't think I want to do it. What's gonna happen when I press the space bar? What? Oh. Uh, oh. What? Why did I kill that guy? I'm assuming that's what happened. Oh god. Oh, I can't even go that way. What the hell? Oh my god. Okay. I guess I'm running now, I suppose? I don't even know how the police would have gotten here. I mean, oh my god. What? Is this some sort of symbolism about me running away from the police? And running away from my own crimes? So who is that lady, and who is that guy that just came- Is this even real? Is the big question that I'm saying here. And that's a cabin, and I saw this as a painting in the house I was just in. If you look closely, this- Oh, okay. Oh shit. Wow. That was a sudden jarring change. Oh wow. That sent chills down my spine. Arrow keys to aim. Oh no. What? Oh my god! That's over so quickly! I think he shot himself? <laughs> Hang on, I gotta go back and I gotta see if there's something else I could have done there. Oh man. That like, I didn't even have a chance to realize what was happening. Like, I was trying to comprehend it while it was going under. I don't know, let me get back to that point again, then I can actually think rationally. This must be... This must be a bunch of bodies that I've buried over time. If I'm supposed to interpret this, I would assume that this is all very symbolic, and this 
is like an accelerated concept that we're supposed to understand. This isn't taking place in immediate reality here. This is like, oh man. Oh man, that transition right there is jarring as hell. So what happens if I go to the right? Oh man, that's so weird. Like it, just the option to shoot yourself right then and there and then there's no fanfare to it, it's just... Ooh, what did that mean? What happened? What did that mean? What did that mean? What are you doing? You can't do this to me! What does it mean? It's so obscure! Oh, man! Oh, is there something- I gotta find out if there's something else to it. I gotta fi- I gotta find out. Hang on. I, I- I tried a lot of different things, I couldn't find anything else. There was no other way to go in the house, there was no other way to go pretty much anywhere that I went. So there's gotta be something else before. Maybe if I leave the church as soon as I get in there. And I'll- I'll wrap up my thoughts in a second about what this is, but... I gotta get through this first. So I couldn't do anything in the church. Maybe if I... Oh. Okay. Oops, shit. Um. Okay. I don't- hang on, I gotta double check to make sure there- let me check, uh, like a walkthrough or something, I'll be right back. Okay, so I looked it up, and there's a total of three different endings. There is one, which is shooting yourself, and then, oddly enough, that's the only one where you get to see who can- I can only assume is your wife again? And then you can take the shotgun and you can go outside, uh, I'm assuming to fight, uh, or you can just go outside and, I'm assuming, surrender yourself to the police. Um, this is a bizarre, short, and oddly emotional game. Like, it, it's very, it, it's very astonishing how much it can affect you in such a short amount of time. Like, just with, in the beginning when you pass by that tree and suddenly it turns into a woman, that changes everything about it. Because you could be a hitman that's trying to bury his last body, but as soon as it turns into that woman, it's like, whoa, that took a 180 really quickly. And then, who is the guy that came over there? And then got on the ground, and I obviously murdered him, and I was having weird flashbacks, and then you go into the shack, and it's a church, and you, you're marrying, you go back to the day that you marry, and then that sudden, like, that immediate cut shift to just blackness with the shotgun in a shack by yourself. That is, that is like heavy shit, but it's amazing. It always amazes me how much pe people can pack into such a small package. So, I I might be wrong about a lot of this, but I think it's a guy whose wife was either murdered or died, and this guy was trying to seek revenge, and all those body bags were the bodies he buried in revenge for the death of his wife. And I'm not 100% sure on that because the guy that comes in and then falls to the ground, I don't know who he is in relation to everybody else, but... Maybe you guys have a better idea of it. I'd like to know what you think in the comments below. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and if you got other cool games like this, I, I really am interested in games like this because it just goes to show what can be presented in a game. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!